hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here hey what's up my name is anna and i post usually once or twice a week and it's a whole lot of fun around here so if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to become one of my internet friends because i love having friends especially internet ones and today i'm going to be talking about two things stress and overworking yourself and this is something i did a lot this past week and i just wanted to talk to you guys about it um First off, I just want to say, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you're probably like, Anna, like, where are all your fashion, like, lifestyle-ish videos? And I'm not stopping those videos necessarily. I just want to, like, I just want to put out content that I enjoy and that I feel like is giving you guys advice and that's, like, helping you because I feel like I can, like, impact the world more by telling you guys stuff than, like, talking about, a, like, fashion product if that makes sense but I'm still going to be doing like fashion videos every once in a while and like beauty videos but I don't know if I want to like I just feel like I'm just going to post stuff that makes me happy and that I enjoy filming so yeah I hope that makes sense to you guys um so yeah I'm just going to kind of be talking about what happened to me this past week and some advice to you guys if you're going through the same thing so yeah okay let's get on with the video so first of all, I just kind of want to tell you guys like my story and like what happened to me. So I was pretty much what happened is I went to a concert last week and then I was like really stressed out because I had a bunch of work to do. I had a bunch of like video, like I had videos to edit and like I just had so much stuff to do and I like really worked myself. I was like, okay, like you can't go to sleep until all this is done. And so I worked, worked, worked. I studied. I did all this stuff when it like I necessarily didn't have to do it. Like, it wasn't due the next day. I just, like, was trying to get everything done. And I, like, I don't like procrastinating, but sometimes I do it. But, like, I don't like doing that. So, like, I just try to, like, I literally work as hard as I can. I put, like, 100% of myself into, like, everything that I do. And so, sometimes I can bite you in the butt whenever you just, like, are working so hard. And so, yeah, I, like, I worked so hard. I got about, like, eight hours of sleep the total of five days last week like I literally did not get much sleep at all because all I was doing is like working and staying up and I honestly had like a terrible week last week I had a mental breakdown during it because I was like like I just I don't know I was just like I can't do this anymore like I'm so stressed out like mentally I was like not doing well I was like so like depressed and just sad and mad and it was like not good for my mental health my physical health I was like so tired like my body was like not good I literally didn't eat like for a whole like the first like two days like Monday or no Tuesday and Wednesday I like literally ate nothing at lunch like I was just like I couldn't eat my stomach hurt like I was having stomach cramps like I was just not doing good like physically or mentally and then like when I was in school I was like I was so tired because I stayed up late that night working on homework that like I couldn't focus in class and that is no bueno like I never need to do that again and so I wanted to talk to you guys about how you're not gonna have to deal with that and like some tips I have for you guys just going through this I whenever I was in seventh grade I did this to myself and I did it for like a month not for like a week I did it for a month and it was terrible so this is just my advice to you guys if you're like a perfectionist and you work really hard and just like some tips for you guys if you're stressed out so my yes. first thing that you have to realize is that you cannot work a hundred percent of the time you physically mentally you cannot work a hundred percent of the time you can't you can't do that like it's not good for your mental health it's not good for your physical health and you need to rest like you may tell yourself, like, I don't need sleep, like, maybe an hour of sleep, like, I'll be fine. But you physically need six hours of sleep, like, every night. Like, I know they say, like, eight hours is good, but, like, if you get six hours of sleep, like, you'll be fine. Like, you can, per you can do good in school if you get six hours of sleep, and that's, like, the minimum that you should get. Um, one of my teachers told me this, like, a long time ago. They were, like, like, if you have to stay up, at least get six hours of sleep. So... Six hours of sleep is, like, what you need to get. You need to be eating. I, like, I, even if you, like, don't physically, like, have time to eat, you have time to eat. Like, you can eat while you work, like, while you're working. Like, you need to eat. It's very important. And you need to not tell yourself that you're stressed out. Because 
I was like telling myself like oh my gosh Anna you're so stressed out like you're so busy like you're just oh my gosh like I was just telling myself how like stressed out I was and that was making me more stressed out because I was thinking about how stressed out I was and if you're not thinking about like oh my gosh like I'm so stressed out I have so much anxiety right now if you're not thinking about that then you're not going to be as stressed out as you are like this like last year in eighth grade like I was stressed 100% of the time but I never told myself I was stressed I was just like like you're just doing it you're working hard like you're just doing it and so I highly recommend you guys to not tell yourself that you're stressed out just tell yourself that you're trying to work hard and that you're busy that's like what I told myself and you have to take breaks and you need to have some me time whether this be like going on a 10 minute walk outside listening to some music watching like a Netflix show like whatever like playing with your dog like whatever it is you cannot work the whole time you physically and mentally you need to like take breaks and do something other than like work and I know it's kind of like hard whenever you're like I could be like working right now but you need to take breaks and like hang out with your friends or talk to a friend on the phone like just do something that you're not working the whole time if that makes sense one of my next tips is something like super duper important and it like really really helps me personally if you have like anxiety and like you get really stressed out is to pray and I know whenever I'm really stressed out like I just like want to cry and like talk to my mom or talk to one of my friends and like I don't think okay so when I, I had a mental breakdown like on Thursday night and I literally cried for like an hour like I don't even know what I was crying about I was just crying because like I needed to cry you know we all have those moments where you just need to cry and you cry so I was crying and I was like like I just really want to talk to my mom or I want to talk to my friend about this like I like and I wasn't thinking like I should talk to God not them and so I feel like we always like us like as a society we don't think about talking to God first we think about going to like our family member like our friends or whatever so whenever you're like really stressed out and like anxious and all that like talk to God because God is gonna be like your biggest help and he's gonna help you and yes so like even though you feel like because he's not gonna be able to like physically like say like Anna like you're okay like he'll he'll help you more than like a friend would and you need to call on him first then you would call on a friend because he is your friend and also spending time in the word is really helpful um just like reading stuff about like stress and anxiety like literally looking up on pinterest like bible verses about stress and it'll help you so so much like i'm not joking it's it like you just really feel because like that's like god talking to you through the word and instead of like having a friend talk to you the bible can talk to you if that makes any sense and it's just for me it's really calming and helpful so yes and i have one more tip i think this is my last one this video is kind of short but my last tip is to listen to music literally probably the only thing that got me through like life that gets me through life is music i love music and i like i love like pretty much all type of music i like like i like rap music i like Christ, like Christian music is really good when you're stressed out. Um, I like classical music. I like, uh, like, I don't, not exactly pop music, like Khalid, if y'all know who that is, I love his music. It's very, like, good and chill. Um, Vance Joy, he's great. Ed Sheeran, like, literally, like, I love, like, all type of music. I even like country music. Like, I love music. And so, music is something that, like, really calms me and helps me calm down. So, like, maybe that for you, that's, like, reading. Like, reading also helps me. Like, just whatever it is that, like, calms you down, do that when you're stressed out. And, yeah, so... I hope you guys have a great week this is my only video this week because I'm stressed out and I have to work a lot so like just doing homework and everything so this is my only video this week but I hope you guys enjoyed it and if it helped you give it a thumbs up comment down below what you're stressed out about like if you're stressed out about school or like if you have a job or like whatever it is comment down below I'd love to know we can kind of bond over like how hard school is um but yeah I hope you guys like you can just put all, cast all of your worries and anxiety on God and help, like, you can't do it by yourself and you're going to need someone to help you and so God can help you and yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! Cause I'm gonna stand by